All right, so on these beams, these are really nice beams. And uh, I'm kind of imitating real wood coloring. And I've played around with one of them. Um, I've got it right over here. <clears throat> so I've played with a few different spots. Um, this is one of my favorites right here. That's got a matte clear on it. This is, this is just straight Rust-Oleum, a couple different colors. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it gloss or if I'm gonna try to knock it down to be a more of a clear, uh, or more of a matte. So that's, that's this, same stuff right here, but with the matte clear on it. I think the matte clear brings out the color a little more. And this one was just a little bit of a different style. So the way I'm doing it, I've been doing it with a brush. I'm basically brushing the deep, the deep grain black and then doing a lighter brown on the top side and then kind of brushing it in with a darker brown. So it's pretty time consuming. So what I just did is I just shot all the beams. These beams are pre-cut, pre-measured. Um, I just shot them all black Rust-Oleum. Blew them off to get any loose flaky stuff off. You know, these beams are expensive, but I got a good deal on them because they need kind of a rework. Um, so that's the point of the video just showing I shot them all black with a spray that way I got real good coverage and I'm gonna let that dry overnight I'll come back tomorrow and I'll do some of the lighter brown and then I'll work in some of the darker brown and I'll play back and forth and I can always touch up a little bit of black as needed but um, you know I got close to 50 linear feet of beam so brushing it was taking a while and it was real hard to get in all the grains so to be continued. All right, so as you can see, I've got some gloss black beams now. I've lifted that one up on the sawhorses. I'm gonna start with that one. So I'm gonna begin just uh, getting some of this light brown on. And then I'll start, I gotta let the light brown kinda dry to the touch a little and then I'll start doing some dark brown. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm uh, taking the black. The black's been dried overnight, by the way. And I'm just running the brown, the lightest brown, kind of against the, against the grain most of the time, a little bit with the grain. If you, if you pull it at the right angle, it kind of leaves the deeper grain. So that seems to be working pretty good. Um, now I'm actually painting left-handed because um, I wanted to hold the camera a little more carefully. If you go with the grain near the big, deep uh, grains, it, it ends up kind of filling them. So especially near the, the deeper stuff, I want to go against the grain to skip over the top of it. Then I gotta do some with. All right, so we're getting there. It, it seems to me that really the third, the third brown is what starts to get it more, more realistic looking. So, just working it here. Probably want more brown than black. Um, just cause the black is, you know, well, wood's brown. Not black, but the black gave it a lot of detail on my couple practice ones. So I'm gonna probably call it at that for the brown for the light brown. Matter of fact, this light brown is actually time is uh, actually primer. So let me get the dark brown rolling. All right, so I'll just give you a little sample of the final brown. I'm mostly mostly where I want this beam here, but I'm looking over to see. If there's any spots that are a little too black. And maybe right here at the sawhorse. So the same, I'm kind of a little against the grain, a little with the grain, just hitting the high spots, which leaves the low spots a little dark. Maybe just a little, a little too light right there. And then um, what I may do right now is go ahead and mix in um, some of that dark brown with some of the black and just add a third uh, shade, you know, 
So right now I got three distinct colors, but uh, I may do one more. So quite different than the black. All right, so I did a quick mix there. It turned out a little bit more gray, but uh, just added, I mean, you can really barely tell, but it just added a little bit of a, a slightly different third color. Like there's a little bit of it there. There's the lighter one. This one's brown, lighter, and that's that third color that turned out a little gray. Just, just adding just a little bit to it. So I'm gonna say, I think this is exactly where I'm gonna leave this beam. Just like this. So here's a comparison of black to the colors. I don't know what you call this, the wood look. As much as I can get a wood look. Now I'm doing a little test over here. The uh, satin clear. And it's, it's having a little bit of a reaction. Um, kind of crinkled up on me. So, it's, it's all Rust-Oleum, it's all enamel, but I, I think I'm gonna hold off on this and uh, maybe just try to keep it gloss. I may play a little bit more, see if I can get it to not react. All right, so here's the look I was going for. This is, this is a cut of the flooring. So, and each piece on the floor is a little different, so logically this would be a little different. I'm gonna say, Minus the slight difference in sheen, I feel like I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much there. Maybe a hair dark on the beam, but it's gonna look sweet. So this is the grain, and this is, you know, I'm trying to match grain and style, and uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna crank on these other ones, and I think I'm gonna hold off on the satin clear. I just got the last beam painted. Still super wet. So I did end up doing the three color plus black. Black, light brown, dark brown, super dark brown, almost gray. Looking pretty sweet, I think. So obviously these are foam, but I don't know. I'm gonna say, if I walked in, I think they'd fool me hanging on the wall or hanging on the ceiling. You know, so we'll see what they look like when they're up, but I think mean, they turned out sweet. Took about a day to get them done. So there it is. So I just set it down next to the old beams. I mean, the old beams were sweet, or you know, the old finish on the beams, but I don't know. I like that darker new, that darker new look, and they really had to have some done because, as you can see, once I started blasting with air, this uh, water-based paint started letting go. So now these are all oil-based Rust-Oleum, um, starting with that black sprayed on. So I got real good coverage and real good adhesion. So check that out. Matter of fact, these look decent when they when they're dirty. That's actually what's making these look a little better is they're white and then it's almost like they've been they've been wiped and rubbed and kind of some dirt on there. Nothing like this. That's a sweet one. All right, so installing the beam. Um, I did about a half a day and then most of today too. Uh, most of it is trial and error fitment. Bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. Um, but eventually I got it where I was happy with it. I got it to seam up against the wall pretty good. And um, basically I'm just, I definitely can't do this with the phone in my hand, but I'm basically getting everything where I need it and I'm bringing it up this ladder and I'm setting it on the top of that tall ladder. It, it'll just rest there. What? You want to be part of the show? Is it what you want? 
So I bring it up there and I just kind of rest it on the ladder and I fine tune where it fits. And then um, when I'm confident that it's good, you know, I had to do a little trimming. I had to take off little strips of drywall here. Um, I did have to trim a little bit of the foam in a few spots just to get it to fit well. And then when I know it's good, um, I'll run up there with the uh, a little brad nailer and I'll just pop some nails through the through the um, beam into the two by six up there. Um, I think I throw all those nails out. I mean, tiny, tiny nails, invisible from this height for sure. You know, they're, they're in there somewhere. Um, so that's all. I just kind of tack a few in, get down, make sure I really like it. Um, oh, and also on the ends, I did put a bead of caulk on the ends, um, both ends, and then I butt them right up to the wall, slip it up, pop them in. So there are seams. Like you can see right here, I did it in three pieces. But what I did was I got the strap kit and those little shiny parts right there, I actually stapled those with the uh, air stapler. So just have those stapled in. And then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump up because bringing it up and down, I did put a couple little nicks in it, as you can see, um, like one of the one of the bigger ones is over here. So I'm going to uh, go up and I'm going to basically touch up any of the stuff on the, on the beam. And then I'm also going to dab in black on the straps. So the strap is made to, it's actually leather. Um, I've got another one right here. It's just a rolled up uh, little roll of leather. Um, and basically you just cut it to length. It's made to look like kind of like a wrought iron um, type of finish. Cool. They look good. It's just, you know, technically these these foam beams could have been spliced together to be all one piece, but it would have been really tough to do for me. You know, for a woodworker, like, you know, somebody who does this all day, maybe not so much. But for just those two, I think they look pretty cool. I measured the rooms, um, and then I just, they're all equal length. I forget what the length was, 116 inches a piece or something. Um, Boom, 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 get them up there. I had to drill a hole in the fan. I had to drill a hole where the fan was gonna go and then mount the fan hanger on top of it. But I have it blocked up with two by six. So it's not hanging on the beam at all. The screws are just going through the beam and into the uh, two by six, two by six blocking and then double two by six in the top. So that, that fan's super anchored. So it's looking sweet to be continued. All right, let's check out the finished product. So here's coming up the stairs. You can already see it. And then when you get up here, boom. Turned out really nice. Looks huge. The straps turned out good. Check this other room. Super realistic too. Let's see what it looks like with some lights on. Then we'll zoom in. So super nice. We'll do the same thing out here. This one's a little better lit. Eh, but not great. So I think it's sweet. I'm real happy with how it turned out. Real happy for sure.